You are going to be so fed up with my cheese jokes after this segment. <laughs> Today is National Cheese Lovers Day, so of course we have to celebrate. I am certainly a cheese lover, and here in our Great Day Kitchen is Nina Newton. She is the lead cheesemonger. That is a real thing, a real title, and she's the director of education and events at Spread Cheese Company in Middletown. Yes. Welcome. So yeah. you like know you, you know everything. You're an expert in cheese. I I absolutely try to be. That <laughs> yes. is wonderful. How, how did you decide to go into this cheesy business? So I was uh, working in higher ed. I was an academic advisor. Okay. Um, and I was looking for something that was going to set me alight and make me happier. Right, right, and right, right. And I just thought to myself, if I could just play with cheese all day, I'd never have a bad day. <laughs> And, uh, and so that's a two. Yeah. It's a real thing. Like you're a cheesemonger. You're, you're getting. Uh, you're doing online courses in this. It's yes. like a sommelier for wine. What do yes. you need to have to be a cheesemonger? So um, a cheesemonger's job is essentially to guide you through the cheese buying process. Okay. So we we are experts in all the cheese that we have in the shop. Um, as well as pairings and you know how much cheese do you need for this many people and okay. things like that and we also make you know gorgeous platters but that's yeah. just a little perk do you know why catholic people like uh, you know what type of cheese is catholic people's favorite uh, cheese i can't say I do. swiss because it's so, so holy. holy yeah oh i knew that that's was a, coming. I, that's he's, a good been, one he's that's been a doing good one i've tried i tried <laughs> all, all right. day for that one so we're gonna learn a little bit um and you've also throughout the segment i mean we have some of your gorgeous artwork you minored yes. in art in college and now you make oh my gorgeous God. Yes. this is so wonderful look at this <laughs> look at that how'd you do that that's incredible I, you know so you could teach practice, us that practice. or we could pick things like that up at the cheese shop can you yes. do that? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Look at this. How this long does it take to make something like this, Nina? Um, anywhere from oh 10 minutes to an hour, depending on the size. I cannot believe you could do this in an hour. It <laughs> so, would take me all day to do something like this. Oh my gosh, like no. And so the key is it's got a, no space on the board. It should all be filled, I right, guess. It's, it, I like to fill it. I like to make it look you know, full and bursting. Um, you brought them a simpler one where we yes. just put a piece of slate. And yeah. so if someone just unexpectedly shop, stopped by, maybe we can't create that, but this is um, some good elements here. Yeah, this is something that you can you can build on your own. It's simple, it's rustic. Um, this would be a good size for maybe two to four people. Yeah, okay. it's perfect. You're coming out, you have a couple of people over for a cocktail, a little wine, a little uh, cocktail. Exactly. And yeah, tell us what kind of cheeses we have here. Yes, yeah, so This looks I, like a, I'm gonna, let, let me Yes. Sure. Um, Gouda? No. No. Um, brie? Brie. 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 It's, it's a brie style. It's a soft cheese. Um, and this one is called Harbison. It's from the cellars at Jasper Hill um, up in Greensboro, Vermont. Okay. Um, and this is a really cool, creamy, like soft inside cheese. And what I've done here is I've taken it out of the fridge um, a couple hours to get it really nice and room temperature. You always want to eat your cheese at room temperature. Okay. Um, but this one in particular, you can just dip a cracker right into it. You're welcome to so that's dip what, right so in. So that's why, because, oh, it oh really so it's, it's like soft. a dip. And it's so, so soft and it's nice. It's like nature's dip, really you don't creamy. have to do anything. Exactly. And you can also, this cheese can be baked at a low temperature as well. Oh, look at that cheese ball. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gorgeous, mm. gorgeous, Isn't that gorgeous? Cheese. Yeah. Gooey. I love this cheese. This is a great party cheese and everyone loves it. Okay, mm. and you just um, cut it and let it out and yeah, then it'll warm a sharp up and then you knife do it. And, and just peel off that top rind. And you paired it with some raspberries and some little yep. gherkins. I love yeah. little gherkins. Were you a cheesy kid? I'd I mean, say so. Did you yeah. like cheese? Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't like cheese? I'm, I'm Paul. <laughs> Paul didn't like cheese. It was oh. never in our house. Well. What? Really? Yeah, no cheese? Okay. There's a cheese for everyone. What's that? So this cheese, this is my personal favorite cheese. Okay. You know, today is Cheese Lovers Day, mm -hmm. and all of us cheesemongers have our own little lists of cheese that we love, and this is one of mine, and it is my number one. This is called Vrangjebak. It's a, uh, a Swedish raw cow's milk cheese. Okay. Um, and it's sort of that Swiss style. Rondebak? Rondebak. Rondebak. Right. You just eat it? Yeah, just dive right in. It's great with mm. the gherkins. Um, mm. Or for a sweeter pairing, the uh, the apricot is great as well. He's you being cheesy. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that joke is so cheesy. <laughs> Never mind, sorry. This is really good. Yeah. It doesn't... I don't know what it, it tastes delicious. What's it doesn't this? taste what like Swiss to me, but it tastes no, like really good. It's just a shot. What is this? Yes, this is so. This is the interior of our shop. This is where we have all our products. So as you can see, we have more than just cheese. Oh we my have God, it's beautiful. What a crackers, fun place to visit this we have weekend. Nuts, everything. Yeah. So come on by, and this is our cheese counter. This is where you'll find me, um, and I'm I'm there with my 
coworkers there to sort of help guide you and, yeah. and find a cheese that you'll love. And you actually have a couples building your own board class. You could go with girlfriends or a friend, but this is going to be February 15th, right around Valentine's yeah. Day, 6.30 p.m. You go to Middletown, and you're going to teach us how to um, make a cheese board. Absolutely. We've and got a it. great board for you. All set up. Nina, Nina, thank you. Thank you. We should say Nina is the daughter of one of our beloved former employees here at Channel 3, yes. Brenda Kestenbaum. I'm so sure Brenda, she's going to watch. So hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Nice to see you. <laughs> you was, did a good job, Brenda. You did a good job. I mean, how's your brother? He's great. He's, He's good. Great. Tell him, Living tell him. it up. I can't, you guys were born while I was working here. I, I know. I grew incredible. up in this building. Yeah. You did. Yeah.